If you've ever been on a date with a girl where like the vibe is good and the attraction is good, but you just feel like she doesn't want to kiss. This was like one of those, like very flirty, okay with being close to me. Like we were on the couch, but like we were right next to each other on the couch and this girl would just not look at me. So like what I did at some point, number one, you can always reposition. Okay, so like at some point, if you guys are in a position where the escalation is not ideal to go down, it's okay to reposition her, which is what I did, I think. Like once she was comfortable, I think I ended up moving her legs on top of mine and putting my arm underneath her. But I remember it's still not going down. And then at some point I was talking to her and I couldn't get her to like lean in to try to kiss me either. And I don't recommend just grabbing her head and turning the head. I don't recommend doing anything like that. But what I did was I playfully called out the behavior. I was like, are you afraid to like look me in the eyes? Like, should I like move over here? Like, I feel like every time I'm talking to you, you're like afraid to look at me. I was like, look, I'll, I'll back. So then I backed up. And then I went really far away from her, but then I started looking her in her eyes. I was like, look, 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 see what we're doing right now? Like, it's okay to make eye contact. It feels good, right? Actually, look at me for a second, right? It feels good. And this is exactly what I did. So I took the behavior, I called it out, and then I exaggerated it. Because the reality is, is like, it's not that she's actually uncomfortable looking at me in the eyes. But what most dudes will do is they'll just get in their head and then they'll try to escalate and then there's resistance and then they'll try to escalate and there's more resistance and it just becomes like this weird fucking dynamic, right? So instead I just playfully called out the behavior. And then I took that concept and I just exaggerated it a little bit more towards the playful direction. By doing this, it almost makes the behavior sound silly because then if the girl continues to do the behavior, I already called it out and like exaggerate, so it does sound silly. So she's gonna feel like slightly silly, maybe foolish to keep doing the behavior because of the way I framed the behavior, right? So when she came back here, I said, okay, look, we're gonna look at each other for like one second and then like, I'm gonna be the one to look away, okay? So I talked to her and then she came over here. I was like, oh shit, hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going back in. Alright, I'm, I'm going back in though. Just for one second though, okay? Okay, hold on, we got this. Ah, let's see, that's better. Okay, that's enough for right now. Every time I do it though, I'm breaking the tension each time. I'm not making her feel uncomfortable. I take the behavior, I call it out, I'm exaggerated, it's playful. And then I do the thing and then I break the tension away. Because if I just keep it there until she's uncomfortable, she's gonna feel resistance again and then I'm gonna have to have her do it again and then it, 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 it's gonna be weirdly correlated with negative emotion. So it's fun, it's playful, I do it just a little bit and then I playfully break it away. And if you notice, I still made it fun and playful. I broke it away, I was like, <sighs> close one. All right, all right, I'm going back in, I'm going back in, here we go. <sighs> here we go, here we go, right? It, it's all fun. It actually shows the girl that she can be okay with it and be comfortable around me doing it. And this is exactly what happened after that. She started looking at me a little bit more. And I would still keep in mind that I don't want to be staring her down because I want her to be comfortable with it. So I would do it and then I would look away a little bit. And then I would look back over and then I would look down. And I wouldn't just pounce on her. I genuinely just did that and got her comfortable with that. And then I tried other forms of escalation. So like I did that for a little bit, but then I think like at some point we were on the couch, so I grabbed her hand and I held her hand for a little bit. And then like our hands just like rested. Right? And then she said something and then like, I don't know, maybe I ended up kissing her hand or, or I just dropped the hand. But I got it to a point where she was actually comfortable like looking at me in the eyes. At one point or another, I leaned in towards her ear. I gave her a kiss on the cheek. I pulled away. At some point I got a little bit closer. I kissed on the cheek, but I kept it there a little bit. Very slow kiss on the cheek. Just pulled it away ever so slightly and I was talking to her at this distance. But then I turned my head away. So like we're cheek to cheek facing forward. And so I was talking to her here and then I was talking to her ear, but then I was still here. And then I would move away when she talked so she could talk a little bit like this and I would get in closer. And at some point it was just a natural progression where we got in very close and we were talking and our lips were touching but I still didn't even kiss her. We were talking soft, very softly. And at some point I stopped, I pulled back just a tiny bit, looked at her, zero resistance at this point, moved in 90% of the way, and then she kissed me. And then we chilled out, and then later on we kissed a little bit more, chilled out, later on kissed even more, and at some point I pulled her on top of me and then we started really making out. And that's how that whole progression looked like, using these concepts to make the girl feel comfortable, not over escalate, put her at ease, make yourself appear more trustworthy, less thirsty. I just set the whole thing up so that there's no resistance, there's no friction, there's no uncomfortableness, and that's the structure that you want when you're escalating with a girl, especially if she's more on the shy, reserved side. That's how you can overcome a lot of that stuff, make her feel comfortable, and also have her reciprocating in the escalation to the point where it's both of you guys. It's not just you pushing, pushing, pushing 
to get the girl. And you never want that, okay? So use this the next time you're in that kind of an interaction. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. For anybody that's interested in working with me personally to implement these concepts into your own life, I've put together a new coaching program where you could actually work with me directly one-on-one. -on -one. We have live calls. I'm gonna show you the entire structure of how you should be running your dates and your interactions. We'll hold you accountable on it. We'll set weekly goals for you and actually push you through that process to go from where you're at right now to achieve your dream dating life. I've already helped hundreds, if not thousands of guys already make this transformation, so there's no reason I can't do the same thing for you as well. So all you have to do is click the link in the description. That's gonna bring up the application where you just answer a couple quick questions and then you can book out a day and a time to actually sit down with us on a free consultation call so we could discuss more details about what that would look like, okay? The link is in the description. Click that link, man. Honestly, click that link. Watching videos is only gonna get you so far without implementation and execution. And that's why I've put together this program. So click that link below, fill out that application, book out that free call. I look forward to seeing you on that consultation call. Peace out.